Okay. So it's going to be an uphill battle, but it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm excited about putting some new music out there. And the, the new song is a song called Close Enough that uh, that we are, are about to release. And, and, um, and so it's a little bit, we're about and play. <laughs> and, and this song is, uh, is a, a lot different than anything we've ever done before. And I think it sounds a lot different than anything on the radio. So um, it, it's a pretty all right song, I think. I'll tell us what you think afterwards. I downloaded it off of YouTube. <laughs> I get 700 channels on my TV I got more things than any man I got a 
Sometimes it helps, but sometimes you're like, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's stuff that comes through. I wasn't trying to say that at all. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I'm moving a little sluggish today. Last night we played in Wilmington, did a little acoustic thing down there. And, uh, and I, uh, I think, <laughs> I think tequila might have bit me. Yeah. Yeah. I got in bed around 5:30 and got up at 9 a.m. Oh God! And uh, drove back home. And it was uh, it was not it was not a fun ride. The Bojangles was good this morning though. I knew, I knew he was gonna go there. I told you he's gonna go to Bojangles. <laughs> you wanna do uh, um, this is one we just did a demo of. Uh, the band and I have been throwing back back and forth mixes on demos and stuff, and I'm really excited about what we're doing sitting in my studio at home and taking parts that Sean does and taking parts that Chris does and taking parts that Andrew does and mix, mixing them in the computer and sending ideas to Sean. He's sending me ideas back. I mean, and it's just a big group process, but we're having fun mixing this stuff. And uh, um, the, the, one of the latest ones we're doing right now is a song that um, uh, a lot of y'all actually helped inspire because um, y'all are smart asses like me. <laughs> and, uh, 
And um, this uh, this fight broke out on Facebook, um, and the lady took what I said wrong, and 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 so I, I decided to answer back with, "Well, you guys are going to fight over no matter anything I say, no matter what." So I said, "Sky's blue, go." <laughs> and my smart ass fans didn't let me down <laughs> because because every one of y'all joined in and told me what color your sky was, wherever it was, and <laughs> and and I, I I remember typing out the words, "Well, what color is your sky?" and I and I was like, "Wait, that's a song title." And I deleted it <laughs> and started working on this song and um, and was pretty excited about it. But uh, um, we came up with this this. Uh, this song right here. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. 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 yeah you were just talking all about all it. Of that. <laughs> Intro. <laughs> I know these guys too, but in case you don't, I'm going to go ahead and remind you. This fellow right here is from Kingwood, Texas, and this is Chris Young. Yes! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> his, I'm from Houston. His, really? His, 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 real, his real name, Chris Young, swear to God, true story. Um, he does not hear voices. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have him on the road with us. <laughs> He's such a Texan that he doesn't even pronounce the H in Houston. He doesn't. Yeah. He's from Houston. Yeah. Houston. Yeah. Actually, if it was a J, it would be Houston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I get it. Your fault. Yeah. Oh. I'm, 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 I'm Jason. Jason. Um, <laughs> this fellow over here from Geneva, New York, one of the finest damn Yankees I know, <laughs> Sean Smith. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys know me, and I'll tell you the story. Last night, I told you that we had, we had a, few, a few shots of tequila. It was a fun, a really fun night. Have a good time. And then we started calling off things, random things, and and um, one of the songs that they called off was uh, that that summer, Garth Brooks. And I love that song. And um, and. Uh, uh, no, we're not going to play it. Uh, did you do it last night? Oh, I did. But, did but, really? let, me, but let me tell you what I did to it. <laughs> 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 if you guys see me stop singing on stage, or if y'all see me, you know, walk away from the microphone and I'm laughing, I, 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 I may have forgotten lyrics. I'm not saying I don't do that. <laughs> but I also may have thought of something that I was this close to saying and I didn't, <laughs> but I still laughed about it. Because, because what y'all get, if I say anything shocking, what, what y'all get is only about a quarter of what goes on up here. <laughs> and, and, and last night, my filter was a little turned down. <laughs> so we did uh, that summer, and you know the second verse, it, say, it says, um, I'll think about that summer, the sweat, the moonlight, and lace. Uh, no, wait, not that. Not, the, the second verse is, uh, um, um, that summer wind was all around me, nothing between us but the night. And when I told her that I'd never, I think she knew I kind of lied. <laughs> Then I washed her hands of leather, turned a velvet in a touch. There's never been another summer like the one I learned to... And I didn't say it. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Oh. <coughs> That's as far as I got. And, and it just, it, <laughs> and I'll be honest with you. That shit happens <laughs> all the time. All the time. It's a wonder he didn't say tequila made a clothes fall off. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that out loud. But... <laughs> I, I might hear the voice. Yeah. But see, that's what I'm saying. If he's hearing them too, then it, then it just doesn't work. You know, and our voices start arguing, and you know whose voices are right then. I don't know. Then you get all confused. Cheryl's got something. <coughs> a shot of tequila. No. Hair the dog, man. I don't have one of those. Exactly. That little thing that keeps you from saying things you shouldn't. I don't have one of those. <laughs> yeah, it was. You were, you were the, you were a witness. You were a witness. So actually, it was your fault. No, it was not. The first tequila shot I got was actually from you. My husband, I handed it to you. Ish. I bought it. I didn't buy it. Ish. Ish. <laughs> I'm about to fill up the suit just <laughs> Just keep going. You need some tequila. V8 keeps you from doing this number here. What what keeps you from doing this? <laughs> That's the one I need. Another shot of tequila. I drink a V8 sideways a little bit. Let me see here. Oh, um, you know one song I played last night? How many, uh, how many folks, I, I like writing songs that I think people are going to understand what I'm talking about. You know, and sometimes, you know, I, I get, I get out there and, and then I, I just, I'm doing it for myself sometimes. But then there's certain songs where when I start writing them, there's, there's a reason I'm writing it, but I also try to write it so that un people understand why I'm writing it. And how many of y'all have ever been told by somebody, you know, when you lost somebody close to you, you lost somebody that you love, that, that, you know, it'll get better in time, in time, you know, you know, you know you'll, you'll yeah. forget and, and you'll move on. And, and honestly, that, that phrase has kind of always bothered me because when you lose somebody, if they were really that close to you, then there's a part of you missing a mm -hmm. after they're gone. And, and when they're gone, the, the thing that you think about and that brings you back is every time you think about them, what happens? You get sad that they're not here. Mm -hmm. When you get sad, to me, in my opinion, that's the closest that you're ever going to be to that person is when you, you're so, your emotions are so raw because you're going back to that, that moment, that spot. You're remembering that hurt. And that's why uh, I wrote this song. Um, started a few years back. and I have my
my reasons for writing it and, uh, you know, apply it how, how, how you like, but. I still go out to the places that we used to. I still hang out with those friends that we both knew. I still drive to the place we used to park just to sit there in my car and ask that radio DJ Folks think that